Senior capstone, I chose to do wheel thrown pottery. Um, I first started working um, on the wheel this summer between my freshman and sophomore years at Gettysburg. And then when I came to Gettysburg, um, I took ceramics one and two with Peter Morgan, and we focused a lot on hand building, but we did have some projects um, that were focused on the wheel. And I really enjoyed both um, hand building and wheel thrown pottery. But I chose to do wheel thrown pottery for my um, capstone because I was interested in improving my technique. Um, so the beginning of the semester, um, it had been almost a year since I had thrown on the wheel. And it brought me back really quickly to like the frustrations of centering and learning to pull up. And a lot of my initial pieces were just like very plain cylinders. And it was really just like whatever I could get to come up on the wheel. And I remember like I met with um, Professor Morgan and he was like, what's the function of this piece? And I was like, it's a pencil holder. Like it doesn't have a function. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't like, that's all I can do. And so my goal for the semester was to create a piece that had a function and to gain control over my work when I was on the wheel and to have some control about what I was doing. So as the semester went on, my biggest accomplishment was learning how to use the rib and learning it not just like using it in a shape coming out, but envisioning a shape and then having that shape um, come about. Um, so that was one of my biggest accomplishments and something I'm really um, happy about. And all my smaller pieces in the shelves are just examples of um, how I use the rib to get different shapes to make the pots expand, to make them narrow in. And I also use my hands for a lot of um, like getting the clay inwards. Um, and then as the semester um, continued, I started to make these mugs. And um, in my artist statement, one of the things I talk about is finishing a piece and how I like to finish a piece. So adding a handle to a piece really for me was a way of um, finishing it because it gave it a clear function and a function that the viewer can associate with. They can look at it, they see it as a mug. It's complete, it has a purpose. <laughs> and um, so I was really happy about that. And there's a million different shapes and sizes of mugs and I experimented with the different shapes. And there's also millions of different handles you can put on different number of handles. Um, I stuck to a tr pretty traditional handle um, just because I wanted it to be very obvious what the function was and wanted it to be like graspable. Um, then the last, the last step in the process of creating these works was the glazing. And for me that was one of the most challenging aspects. Um, I stuck with under glazes for most of the mugs and for the pitcher. And I like under glazes because they're a little bit more manageable. They look kind of what they're going to look like in the container and out of the container, and they don't run as much. And then I tried a variety of different glazes for the smaller pots. Um, and I tried everything that was in the studio, some that I had bought, and I was really just experimenting. And I think that's really what glazing is about, and the whole ceramic process is about, is just experimenting and trying different things.